You should get in, Rowdy. The water is great. Are you kidding? I've got better things to do with my body temperature. You, Rowdy, I believe. you don't have to go back to Molokai. I can request you for my staff in Honolulu. The agency wants me on Molokai. Drug enforcement is no job for a girl like you. <laughs> right. Stay here and play you, Tarzan, me, Jane. You can't blame me for trying. Yeah? Yeah. Bobby, we don't need that. Put him away. But hungry. Why don't we need the gun? Uh. This land belongs to the IU family. They've been growing weed on this part of the island for three generations. Once a year, I come down and I tell them, hey, take it easy, bro. Then I hit them with a small fine, and off I go. But they still grow the stuff, though. Oh, yeah. No hit nobody. You know, make work for the locals. The locals spend the money in town. Everybody make out. Me, I get one small package for my trouble. You know, I pass them around. Remember now, in one month, I'm going to retire. So you're going to be number one. So you better learn this routine. Okay, Bobby? Okay, Hungry. Damn. I thought this is a small family operation, huh? Shh. Don't look right. Look at all those workers. This look like an assembly line. There's a guard with a machine gun. Something's wrong. Back to the boat. Say back to the boat. That's it. That's Good job. That's the way to go. Run <laughs> these two guys in their boat through the shredder and feed them to the fish. See what you can do over here, please. Some of these guys are just waiting for their lunch break. Lunch? You just come over a coffee break.
You'd be a dead woman. At least while I testified against the mob in Vegas, they threatened to kill me quickly. Hey, Donna. When the feds told me I could come to Hawaii and live and help you keep your cover, it sounded like paradise, but you never let up. The agency expects us to be fit at all times. But I'm still just a civilian. It doesn't mean you can't be buff. Hey guys, we're gonna go get some coffee. Uh, fix up the next load, okay? All right. Later, Slim. Ooh, this is a nasty looking snake. Heavy. Come on. You got one set of honeymooners booked to Halawa Valley uh -huh. and one snake. A snake? Dixon, I don't like snakes. Besides, there's never been a snake on the island. Well, there is now. Actually, it's just for display at the Molokai Ranch Wildlife Park. Oh, make sure they get this book on the care and feeding of it. But... Will do. Thanks, Dixon. We'll see you soon. Have Bye, Stevie. I've just figured out a cure for my boredom. I'll pretend I'm in a James Bond movie. You've got a great imagination, Taryn. Well, I do have a whole new identity to develop <laughs> and a lot to forget. Yeah? And out of all the actors who played James Bond, who do you like best? I'd give them all equal time. <laughs> <laughs> Here, 
Hey, Taryn. We're ready for clearance. This is Cessna Molokai Cargo, November 99 or 786, requesting clearance on runway 5 left. Uh, Roger, Molokai Cargo, clear for takeoff. with a snake in it marked contaminated on the Molokai cargo plane? No, we didn't, boss. We loaded a box that just said live snake. Live snake? Yeah. What's the matter with you guys? The sun baked your brains? Now I gotta get on the radio and get that plane back here. That snake they have is dangerous. It's contaminated. Live snake. Bruce, you will Okay, guys, here we go. A little bit of a hike, but I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, this is great. This is one of the prettiest campsites in the whole world. You know, the travel agency told us that we we're going to be all alone. We are going to be all alone, aren't we? Sure you are. Great. We just love nature at its purest. Honolulu calling November 9 or 9 or 786. Do you read me? Come in, please. Be there. Snake, you got to kill her. Honolulu calling November 9er, 9er, 7, 8, 6. Do you read me? Come in, please. This is Honolulu calling November 9er, 9er, 7, 8, 6. Do you read me? Come in, please. Come in, please. This is terrific. We really appreciate you guys bringing us out here. No problem. We'll be back to pick you up tomorrow in our Jeep. Our home base is just over the hill. OK, great. Hey, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good time, we'll see guys. See you later. Bye-bye. You guys have fun. Isn't it gorgeous out here, babe? <laughs> The 
This always makes me nervous, Mr. Chang. I'd almost rather try to get them through customs. The way they watch us. No way. This has always worked. We don't have to worry about custom or the Coast Guard. And the boys are paid. Nice and clean. Yes, sir. It's an expensive remote control model. Look, the door's open. Now, what do you suppose? Freeze! Ah! Hold it! Ah! Dread facing Seth, empty handed. Yeah. Karen, we need to figure out what just happened. Let's unload and hit the jacuzzi. I do my best thinking there. Right, I'll get the dolly. Mm. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. Yeah, this is heavy, all right. Gosh, it's heavy, huh? Really? Well, here's the Karen feeding manual. Huh. All snakes eat meat. They swallow animals whole, often larger than themselves. Many snakes simply grab their victims and swallow them alive. Ugh. Others kill their prey first. Some snakes eat only once every few weeks. Well, I sure hope this one is not hungry, really. After we put away the crate, let's see what's in the box we found. Let's put this baby in the hangar. Boy, I tell you, after a day like today, there's no place like home. No doubt. Baby, where have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. I'm just a working girl. This joint's too expensive for me. Hey, 
You can eat my joint anytime for free. That makes me want to turn into a vegetarian. Excuse me, Ashley, but don't you need to check on some reservations? I'll see Charlotte for you. Right, Edie. Oh, Charlotte. Catch you later, baby. And enjoy your lunch. Charlotte, Charlotte, thank goodness you've decided to come. Charlotte, I'm not just some fast-talking New York television director. I care for you a great deal. Trust me, Charlotte. You practically raped me last night. That was last night, Charlotte. This is today. I care for you, Charlotte. I care for your mind. I don't care about your body anymore. I'm not into that. May I help you? I'll have a pair of coffee. Hello, Mr. Romero. Is everything satisfactory? Super, as usual, Edie. Thank you. So this person... Please, excuse me a moment. Of course. What are you two doing here? Now, calm down, Mr. Romero. We've got some bad news. Yeah, boss. Uh, somebody beat us to the stuff. They got away. Looks like they almost killed you. Who were they? It was a couple of broads. Broads? You dummies. They got away on that cargo plane. Yeah. Uh-huh. Molokai cargo. Yeah. If brains were birched, you'd have a clean cage. I'll get someone else to handle them. Get out of here. Come here. I have a job for you. Come on, turn those in. Come on. Turn them. Good, okay, cover up. Come on. Oh. oh. Okay, good. Good work. <laughs> Did you see these hands? These hands are lethal weapons. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Confucius say, a man with deadly hands must be very careful while slapping on aftershave. <laughs> What's up, Jade? Sushi man's on his way. Hope he's got good news today. Here's your lunch, Brody. send us these things. Too bad they couldn't wrap it in a spring roll or something. I'm really hungry. We got trouble in paradise, amigo. I don't believe it. You have another spy movie poster? And in German yet? Yeah, it's a real killer, isn't it? Taryn, you have a Malibu Express poster hanging over your bed. The store threw it in for free. I thought you'd get a kick out of it. We don't hear much from Cody anymore since he left the agency to become an actor. Well, he and Rowdy are cousins, right? Yeah. They're both adorable, but just a little bit flaky, you know? So tell me the truth, Don, about Rowdy. How's his stuff? Great. He's got four inches. Four inches? That's not so hot. Yes, it is. I measured him from the ground up. 
I'm going to put these in the freezer. After all, it is ice, isn't it? Damn well work diamonds. <gasps> don't don't get smart with me. Now where are they? They're in the hangar. Let's go. They're out here! They better be Damn. there! You were dead for release. Oh, oh my God! Oh! Sydney, get away! Get away! It's Seth. Let's go. He's in trouble. We'll be back. Get that other box. It ain't over yet. Come on, let's go. Check out the hangar. The snake is gone! Where is it? Oh no, damn it. And I have managed to blow a hole in one of the meanest bases that ever hit these islands. Yeah, I know. It's still out of order. Keep trying. It's a matter of life and death. Thanks. There's Honolulu calling November 909 at 786. Do you read me? Come in, please. There's Honolulu calling November 909 or 786. Do you read me? Come in, please. This is November 909 or 786. Over. Donna, this is Dixon. I want you to listen carefully to everything I have to say. Okay? We had a snake delivered here for the Department of Health. Now, that snake has been infected by deadly toxins from cancer-infested rats. It's a very dangerous snake. It'll kill anybody it comes in contact with. Are you still there, Donna? Yeah, yeah, Dixon. All right. Now, my loaders made a mistake. You have the wrong snake. You hear me? The wrong snake. No, we don't. 
Don't tell me. I'm telling you. That snake, don't do anything that... Don't get near it. Dixon, we don't have the snake. It got loose. Be careful. I I'll get back to you. Donna, let's get out of here. That thing could be anywhere. Let's get back to the house and secure it. This is an emergency. Give me the Department of Health. Donna, your dad's picture got broken in the fight. My father was the best agent this government ever had. You really miss him, don't you? Yeah. He died saving my life. You know, when I make mistakes like I did tonight, I feel like I'm betraying him. Donna, your dad will be proud of you. You hit that creep in the face with one shot. Not bad. Of course, James Bond would have shot all three. But hey, who's counting? Right. Then he'd casually stroll in here and jump our bones. <laughs> Yep, me first, of course. House, of course. Let's go to Evie's and call Rowdy. Okay. Come on. Have a great meal. at you too. Every shot a postcard. I'm gonna give you the best seat in the house. Oh, and where's that? You can sit right here on my face. Why? Is your nose bigger than your dick? Ashley, you know we love you. Where's Edie? She's in her private booth in the corner. Thanks. Thanks. like a martini, vodka, medium dry, lemon peel, shake, and not stir. Yeah, yeah, ladies. I didn't already know. Edie, we've got to talk. No one can hear us here. Have you heard anything about diamonds in connection with Seth Romero? Donna, the agency only uses me as a contact. There's really very little that they tell me directly. I just shot Seth Romero in the face. I should have killed them. You may wish you had, because the best you can hope for now is crutches. We've got to reach Rowdy. Desperately. Let's go to my office. Hey, Whitey. What's happening? Hey, Jimmy John Jackson, Southern Cable Sports Network. Here for the pro football meetings. And uh, I'll be calling them as I see them. You guys are ball players. Seattle, right? Patty cakes, uh, tall glass of water, plenty of ice. Thank you, darling. Now, you see these two? They're multis. Now, the key here is to make sure you get the vitamin A and B that they cover. Now, they're water soluble, easily depleted. This little brown capsule here, that's vitamin E. Combats aging, builds endurance, and helps keep the old wazoo hale and hearty. I take 800 international units of those a day. Now, these little guys, these are lessons. These guys get in those capillaries and scrub those walls clean. With clean blood, my brain works better. Now, the B-complex ties the whole scenario together and eliminates stress. And the alfalfa tab, king hell detoxifiers. But my favorite, by far, is vitamin C. You can never take too much of that. Take 10 grams a day as I do, and your kidneys will crank out. That iridescent green and yellow urine will win you respect in every restroom in the world. Sure love soul food. Right on, bro. Diamond stolen. Seth shot. It's been a hell of a day. We 
got word that Seth's hitters took out two Molokai policemen. Poor guys didn't even know what hit them. They had stumbled on a full-fledged drug operation on the IU property. Seth is definitely uh, playing hardball in your backyard. Taryn and I are living proof of that. You're also our proof that Seth is directly involved. Listen, I want both of you to stay with Edie tonight. And we'll be on the first flight in the morning. Donna, I want you and Taryn to go out to Seth's beach house tomorrow morning and have a look around. Diamonds or no diamonds, you're sure to be on his hit list now. Edie, I want you to stay at the restaurant, business as usual. I don't want Seth to suspect that we've got his number. Oh, yeah. By the way, we will bring our trunk of toys. And E, speaking of toys, I can't wait to see yours. <laughs> <laughs> what a stud. Bye, girls. Bye-bye. Now that shot. I'll be back in a minute. Well, at least we've got a couple of ball players we can interview tomorrow. Taryn, isn't that sports caster Jimmy John Jackson a special friend of yours? <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, he's the first civilian that I met after I got my new identity. He said he was going to call me when he got into town, but our phone's not working. Hey, lady, I believe you met these two and the beautiful young lady that brought them here tonight. Your hey, wait. You go down on her, you're going to be kissing the back of my head because I'm already going to be there. Really? I think you know what I mean. Yeah, really. Oh, Whitey, that would make one hell of a sports segment for me. I'll give you all the sports segments you can handle. Taryn. Mm. What is Hi, Whitey. Hey, baby. Why? I was about to say the same thing. You're too much, Jimmy John. I'm not really Jimmy John. I'm really a British secret agent. Mm, I thought so. You give great secret service. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Tea and crumpets and like that. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yes? What are you doing? I'm pretending to be a mere receptacle for Jimmy John's desires. Come on back. You've been there all night and we have work to do. I'll be there. There's the car Edie left for us. I'm anxious to see Edie. Well, that figures. She's awfully fine. Yeah. Nothing like my first wife. My first wife used to mow the lawn stark naked. What'd your neighbors say? They said I married her for her money. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Hang on, Ronnie. We got some nutcase in front of us. Man, he must be smoking some heavy doobies.
I think they're gone now. Yep. Here's the gun, Skater. Blow them away. No problem, baby. Look out, he's got a gun. Jade, how bad you hit? I've been better, but I'll live. Let's get that turkey. The bazooka, Rowdy? It's the only gun I can hit a moving target with. Good hunting weapon, huh? Let's get into town, get you patched up, and then we'll go over to Edie's. If this crate can make it. You hurting? I caught some shrapnel. But I'm not as bad off as this Jeep. Can't believe that shootout. I wonder what happened to the skateboard. I don't know. I think I'll let it get away. Come on, Jamie, would you smile? There's nobody out here, come on. Oh, you look great, baby. Turn sideways, Jamie. Wait a minute, I want to eat those mountains in the back of the picture, okay, baby? Oh, uh, show off. Oh, that's wonderful. Hey, hey, how do you feel? What happened? That's some bad news and some good news. The bad news is the doctor says I'm going to be sore for a while. What's the good news? The good news is there's a great looking nurse in there, and she was extremely helpful. How helpful? Well, she kept me in stitches. I'm going to make a phone call. How long have you been in the island? About five years now. Excuse me, what would you like? A local beer, please. Hello? Edie, it's for you, darling. A man named Rowdy. It's on your private line. Excuse me. Where are you? I thought you'd be here by now. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. We're at the hospital. What happened? We're okay. That's the good news. The bad news is the car died a couple of blocks away. And I must say the uh, greeting party lacked a little of the old aloha spirit. Stay where you are. I'll come pick you up. I'm leaving for a while. Have Ashley look after things when he gets here. Michael. She's on her way to the hospital. Take the back road and cut her off. 
hit it, Kumo. That guard over there is wearing a walkie-talkie as well as a gun. You can probably call in an army. They take their throwing pretty seriously. Let me see your camera. I want to get a better look at the house. Look, Donna, that chopper's landing in Seth's yard. How do you zoom this camera in to make the shot tighter? Just push this red button right here. Okay. Let go of me! Finally, my orders are obeyed. Thank you, my man. They've got Edie. I understand you've been sticking your nose in my business. I don't know what you're talking about. I have plans for you. Take her in the house. You know, that guy on the left sure looks familiar. We better find a phone and get Rowdy and Jade fast. Where the hell is Edie? Should have been here by now. Maybe, uh, she got held up. I'm getting worried. You getting worried? I'm getting worried. Let's just hitch a ride. Let's do it. Hey, maybe they've got a phone. I hope so. Here's a dime for your phone call, Donna. A dime, Terrence? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me handle this. Like my favorite British spy, I happen to be fluent in many foreign languages. I can communicate with people from all walks of life. Yo quiero uno telefono el por favor necessary to colioso mi amigos at el restaurante. Uh, yeah. Ashley, it's Donna. Is Rowdy there? How about Jay? Damn. When they show up, tell them to come out to our place. It's urgent. No, no, they can't call. Our phone's not working. That bartender Michelle isn't there, is she? 
I thought not. Thanks, Ashley. The guy at Seth's house is the bartender at Edie. I recognized the cigarette in his left hand and his pinky ring. He was put there to spy on Edie. So the girl is a guy and the guy is a plant. You're catching on. That's why Edie's surveillance of Seth wasn't working. Michelle has been tipping him off. We've got to get back to pick up the honeymooners. I'm really worried about Edie. Yeah, so am I. Oh! I don't believe it! Oh! That's Jamie! Oh, Taryn! <laughs> oh, she's all torn up! Where's Joey? We've got to find him! Someone to pick up that damn thing. Where do you think it is? I don't know, Donna, but let's get out of here. You're right. There's nothing we can do. Three, two, one. This is Jimmy John Jackson, Southern Cable Sports Network. We're here in Molokai, Hawaii for the pro football meetings, and we're at Edie's Outpost with a lot of football celebrities. With us today is Don Merriman to talk to us about his years as quarterback with the Dallas Steers. And seated next to him is favorite receiver, Billy Blue Shoes Marvis. Don, the question I've always wanted to ask you is about the touchdown pass you threw to Billy Blue Shoes here last year. Now, it looked to me like a double post pattern with a pick on the outside linebacker, a flare across the middle with your split end, and a play action that gave you time to throw that ball 60 yards in the air. Now, with time running out, no more timeouts, and all that pressure, what was it that you told those guys in that huddle? How did you call the play? Well, Jimmy John, all I said was niggas go deep and white guys keep them out if you can on two. Jimmy, the motherfucker's crazy, but he sure can throw. That's it from here in Molokai, Hawaii. Back to you, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Great broadcast, a career high, Jimmy John. <laughs> Your future is behind you, baby. <laughs> Hey, can't win them all. Hey, beautiful. High five Take there, huh? Yeah, yeah, you too. I love right you now. both. Sure, I'm huh? drink. Take all right. Easy. I don't believe it, Jimmy. I don't believe it. Our career is over. Right. Did you catch that broadcast? Not that Jimmy John. He's a real card, huh? What are these guys drinking? <laughs> they were supposed to have Shirley Temple. Patty cakes! Patty cakes! Aloha, long time no see. Where you been, huh? Welcome back. Thank hey. you. Hey, nice outfit. Hey, where the hell's Edie? I fired her. Hey, I'm kidding with you. Look, I haven't seen her since I got in. Damn, I don't like this. Hey, but Donna called, and she said it's urgent for the both of you to get out to their house. Ashley, my friend, let's do your car. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. Thanks. Yeah, little Petro won't hurt that car either. Good news, Jimmy John. Good news. Listen. Yeah, okay. I'll tell him. They lost the satellite feed on that interview we did with those football guys. Whitey, that's great. That means we still got our jobs. Yeah. Okay, listen. They also want you to interview the lady golfer, Muffy Fremont. Oh, no, no, Whitey. She's so dumb she went home early to study for her pop test. Yeah. Right, I'll tell him. No, I fixed the phone wires myself. With tools. No, 
and I have never been mistaken for a man. Have you? <laughs> Goodbye. Well, the health department hasn't found the snake yet, but according to their calculations, the snake's own toxins will kill it within the next 36 hours. Well, at least that's one problem someone else can handle. People who cross me have a habit of disappearing. Now, where are the diamonds? I don't know. Honestly. Kimo. Not ready to talk yet? You will. OK, back to Edie. I have a plan. Dawn's the best time to execute it. You said you had some videotape to show me. Yeah, it's set up in the office. Why don't you go take a look at the tape? I'll stay here and lay out the weapons and fill Taryn in on what's expected of her. Taryn, you're a civilian. You don't have to do this. I wouldn't let my friends down. I'm in. Come on, Rowdy. I think she still needs an attitude adjustment. Rosie's good at that. She's real good at that. <laughs> you know, Uncle Sam sure gave you a great cover. Yeah. And Molokai Cargo is actually showing a profit. Would you like a drink? Mm, maybe something light. Coming up, we have cola, lemon, lime, diet, Vodka. regular, caffeine free. Vodka. You mean a martini? Just hand me the bottle. Okay. Lemon peel. This is the way I like my martini. Vodka, medium dry, lemon peel. Shaken, not stirred. So what you think? Hey, it works for me. Spies should do their own thing. You're Charlie Chan, right? Si, senorita. This is the video that we shot this afternoon. Who's the girl? She's a local. She plays frisbee with this guy every day. Mm, good. I can use that. That guard's name is Shades. We got a file on him. He's the one that pulled the trigger on the Molokai policeman. Did you know what was happening here when you asked me to stay in Honolulu? Yeah. You can't control my life. I don't want to control your life. Here she comes. It's 7 o'clock. Mr. Chang will be expecting your call. Thanks. I don't keep him waiting. Do whatever it takes to make her talk. Get out, boys. I'll take it from here. I 
think I'll turn up the stereo. <laughs> That's a good idea. Must have been some kind of video. We stopped for a bite to eat. <laughs> you shouldn't chew your food so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Chang, this is Seth. I trust you have received your payment. We need another shipment. Last time your courier came up a few kilos short. I'll correct that. Or he'll take his hand home in a bag. Seth, no one must interfere with our plans. We must show our power. Agents are everywhere. Have no mercy. Kill them all. I understand. This little fellow's ready. Tomorrow we kick and take names. Is it okay if I run along with you? Sure. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Hey, Colleen, who's that turkey with you? He's just a thrower. Sorry, Buster. We ain't allowed here. Take off. Hey, lighten up. We're just throwing. Oh, yeah? Let's see you throw one. Watch you get lost. What do you mean? I mean it. Move out. Now. Hey, Colleen. Got a grit? So do you, Pilgrim. You don't look so hot to me. Oh, yeah? See if you can catch this. Hey. Yeah, let's have it. This is for the Molokai cops. Hey, partners, do you read me? Roger. The weather's great here on the beach. Why don't you come on down?
Terran. Donna's gonna drop some noise grenades to flush them out. We gotta get them away from Edie. Practice, Rowdy, practice. Nice shooting, Roddy. Improving. Jade, she's all yours. Okay. We'll meet you outside. Wait a minute. This is sensational. Kinky sex. I'll go get the midgets and the whips. Okay, baby.
that right, numbnuts? I love it when you talk dirty. Looks like it's all over here. Edie, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks to all of you. Man, I'm really glad we're out of there. And especially thanks to you, big guy. Well, kid, I'm going to take the ultra light. Catch you back at the house? Yeah, I'll see you there later. I think our little 4 by 4 needs an overhaul. Oh, yeah. How about that van back there? Nobody here is going to need it. That's a fact. Turn, you wouldn't believe it. Rowdy fired six shots at the guy. He missed every time. Hey, I knew you'd cover me. That wannabe female bartender practically ran into my arm. Who got that bastard set?
snake come from? Would you believe up through the toilet? Just when you thought it was safe to take a pee. Okay, folks, we got one more stop on this tour. Jade, make a right at the next building. You got it. It still hurt. I was hoping it wouldn't hurt so bad now. Okay, hold it, everybody. You gotta let us handle this one. Okay? All right. Okay. Donna, he's up in the penthouse. Let's do it. Who the hell is this Chang guy, anyhow? He's the brains. Chinese father, British mother. Raised in Hong Kong and London. Educated, suave. Merciless. His bodyguard's a sadistic killer. Chang keeps him happy at his work. Yes. We'll need another shipment. Hey, what do you want? Joya? Uh, tear them in half! <laughs> Mr. Chang, I'd say it's all over. In a pig's ass. You say in a pig's ass? Yeah. You want to come with us? Mr. Chang, that's very stupid. Oh? Bringing a knife to a gunfight? I've heard of guys being dropped for a loss before, but this is really radical. Damn! Man, I hope they're okay. Thanks, kiddo. I'd have probably missed the song. I think that we all deserve a vacation cruise on the Malibu Express. I agree. All right? Yeah, but first, I think we should go to Molokai, get the other bag of diamonds, and turn it over to the agency. Excuse me, Kimasabi, but uh, we don't know where the diamonds are. What do you mean? Only moi knows where the diamonds are. Uh, is she saying what I think she's saying? As federal agents, you're all bound by law to turn in any confiscated goods, right? That's right. I'm just a mere civilian. Since anyone who could identify the diamonds is dead, the diamonds belong to me. Can she do that? Yep, she sure can. And she can also share the wealth with her friends. 
a job worth doing, it's a job worth doing for the right price. Here, here. 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 Yeah, hey, hey. 